So here we have the Azul Accessory Fanless Mini PC Stick. Now normally with PC sticks we find that they overheat and they're cheap and they're just not that great really. But this one here, this is from a company in Florida in the United States. So I've got high hopes for this, mainly because they boast that it has some painted heat dissipation technology built into it. As well as that it's got Windows 10 Pro and it's featuring the latest Lake Gemini Intel processor. So I'm quite interested to see how well this performs. Anyway, let's get this unboxed. You're watching another video by the MXQ Project. Just before we unbox this, let's have a look at this specification. So like I said before, it features Windows 10 Pro, it has a Windows 10 Pro license, and it should activate the moment you turn it on. Now the quad-core processor is the Intel Gemini Lake N4100, as well as that we've got some low-power DDR4 RAM in there, and we've got 4 gigabytes to play with. As well as that, we've got 32 gigabytes of storage, which will be shared with the Windows 10 operating system, so you'll get 20 or gigabytes of usable storage. As well as that, we have two USB 3.0 ports inside, as well as that, it can obviously handle 4K, being that Gemini Lake processor. But we'll see how that well that performs with games and stuff like that, see if it overheats. It does say it features this painted you know, heat dissipation technology. So I'll be interested to see how well that performs. And yeah, let's get this unboxed. So here is the actual packaging. It is really nice packaging, actually. It's really good to see when a company's went to a lot of effort to, you know, produce decent packaging. And yeah, as we can see, it's all looking very pretty on the side here. So let's open it up and let's see what we get. So first off, here we have the instruction manual now this is a lot different to the instruction manuals i'm used to getting it's more comprehensive and it's actually all written in proper english as well there is a diff few different languages built into that but anyway we've got a few um, leaflets just explaining about 10 percent off and so on you know usual promotional material but anyway a bit of foam packaging there let's get that out of the way and here is the accessory mini pc stick very unusual looking, very different. It's a totally sealed unit as well. And uh, there's not much, I don't think I'm going to be able to get inside of it to see what's going on inside. But here we have the two USB 3.0 ports with the power input. We've got the button as well. We've got the um, uh, Wi-Fi antenna just there. Nice big antenna. So it should provide decent Wi-Fi connectivity. And yeah, a very pretty device. Very different. On the front, uh, we can see the HDMI cable as well. We've got the uh, uh, micro USB, uh, micro SD card sort on the side. Uh, anyway, let's open up the rest of the packaging because we're going to have a closer look at the accessory just in a second. And as usual, we'll just get HDMI cable. That's just a extender basically, and we get a power supply as well. Anyway, let's move on now. So here's the accessory a little bit closer up. It is actually an unusual design. And on the back here, it says, accessory utilizes a quad-core internal Gemini Lake processor featuring Intel Burst technology. As a result, the speed and power consumption of the device will vary depending on the use. The surface of the product make it warm when running CPU intensive programs. Streaming high definition movies or playing 3D games. However, the accessory is designed with a painted thermal dissipation system to prevent itself from overheating while it's in use. It says, please exercise caution when handling the device after prolonged use. I wonder if it gets quite toasty, this thing. Um, but I'll be interested to see how hot the actual process is getting. Fortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. One thing I didn't mention, it's got an Ethernet port in the back here as well. And it's also got a headphone jack as well, just on there. So good to see. I don't think I'm going to be able to take this apart. It's all an entirely sealed unit. So I can't actually get into it to actually give a true reading of how hot the thing's going to get. But anyway, let's go and turn it on now. I won't, of course, bore you with Windows 10. I'm just going to dive straight in to find out what the performance is from this device. 
So straight away, this is Crystal Disk Mark, and this is the results. This is to give you an idea of the transfer speeds and the read and write speeds with the actual internal storage, which is 32 gigabytes, but later I've found out there's only 12 or 13 gigabytes of usable storage. But anyway, the actual results from this are what I kind of expected from a device like this, and not the best. Of course, it's not like an SSD drive. It will just be eMMC storage, but it's not bad. It's a lot better than Android TV boxes, for example, but you know, it's what I expect from a device of this type. So moving on to some more benchmarks, this is past mark and again the result isn't the best but for a device like this it's what I expect again. The Intel Gemini Lake processor is pretty decent and it does a lot better job at these sort of tasks than say the previous generation like the Cherry Trail Atom processors. So really to get an idea of what to expect from this device is just to use it so searching through Google, looking on websites, browsing, moving up and down through everything, you know, having a look at an article, for example, playing YouTube clips, and you know, general everyday tasks. And as you can see on screen, it's doing a fantastic job, and I've got absolutely no complaints, and I would be absolutely happy to use this as an everyday driver. So when we move on to actually playing 4K files, for example, maybe streaming off YouTube, it is stuttering quite a lot. It's struggling to keep up and it's dropping a lot of frames. Now that could be just my internet connection dropping out here and there, but I'm not entirely convinced that's the case because the internet connection on this device is superb. Now, when we maybe drag and drop some files, 4K files onto the desktop and play them from there, from the internal storage, things are a lot better. This 120 megabytes a second 4K file H.264 is playing beautifully in Kodi, and this 140 megabytes a second 4K H.264 file again is playing really, really well. So just to kind of interrupt just for a second, so I've been installing programs, etc., to show you guys exactly how it's performing, and it's been on for a good. 40 minutes now and it's pretty toasty it's pretty hot now and we when we look at the hardware monitor it's given us this reading just here there we go just focus the camera up and each car is 80 degrees or 176 degrees Fahrenheit quite toasty if you ask me anyway we'll continue now gaming on this device will be limited to very basic games. I'm sure some Windows 10 store games like Minecraft, like we can see here, will run just fine for you if you're into that sort of thing, or maybe even Asphalt 9, it will play. But when we start moving on to proper games, it's just not going to work. I'm not even going to attempt it, mainly because it's going to overheat the device as well as that. It's just not going to be a very good experience. Emulators will play, and it should play absolutely fine for the most part at least. And yeah, for gaming, you know, it is a low-end device, so don't expect too much. So I imagine this device is really aimed at those traveling salesmen or businessmen, people that need a device to carry around with them wherever they're going. Maybe they're going to meet some new clients and they want to show them a presentation, maybe even connect it to a projector. I've got this projector here and I've connected to, to it and it works perfectly, perfectly fine and it should work with the majority of projectors out there and any device really that has a HDMI connection. So what do I think of this device? I think it's pretty nifty. The build quality of it's so much better than other TV sticks we've looked at. It's only got 13 gigabytes of storage mine, so I would be looking to upgrade it with an SD card, a big SD card, I mean 128 gig SanDisk SD cards aren't too expensive nowadays, about 30, 40 pounds, and that would certainly improve things a hell of a lot. Now, in terms of everyday performance, it does a really good job. Video playback is pretty decent as well, although 4K playback is a bit hit and miss, and it's probably going to overheat the device over a period of time. Of course, it comes with a Windows 10 Pro license as well, which is really good to see, so it unlocks a lot more features. And overall, yeah, a really nice device. I think they've done a hell of a good job, especially with the form factor. Things are quite compact and cramped in there. Although it does get a bit toasty here and there, it, it doesn't really affect it for what you're going to be using it for. Gameplay isn't the best on this, of course, it's a low-end hardware, I don't expect it to be amazing, but if you're just wanting basic, everyday, simple games, 
maybe some Windows 10 style games, emulators even, then it's going to do a half decent job. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and certainly go and check out this device and see if it's going to be something that you would be interested in. I shall leave those links in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I shall see you very soon. Don't forget to check out the website, msqproject.com, Facebook group and of course our Twitter. And yeah, thanks for watching. We shall see you very soon.